Today you join me because I am going to be setting up a little shelf in my living room for Easter and the windowsill as well. I don't go nuts for Easter like I usually do for Christmas, but I do like to have it. We we do have a Christian faith, so I do think it's really important. Behind me, I have got the two main features. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll see that I made these two Easter trees, which were really easy. I'll show you how I did it. You join me making an Easter tree. I am tooled up and ready. First job is just to get a bit of the branch. I have so many times done this wrong and ended up with too huge for the house that I live in. Slightly smaller bits, but I still need to take off these bits at the bottom. I need it to be able to stick in the foam. Now I've got like an actual ceramic pot. The ideal is you find one that has got a thick enough trunk. Stones in the bottom. <gasps> this stuff notoriously huge like you do not need as much as you think you <laughs> under the rocks <laughs> right. i had to move it down on the floor because it keeps uh blowing over that'll do okay well it's not completely dry but oh gosh it's still so soggy in the middle i'm really proud of myself because i waited until it dried once the expanding foam is dry and get it get rid of it all this thing is huge all off here if you want to you can just use a bit of white spirit to get rid of it. pop that in there moss to go on the top as well that is my easter tree that i decorate with some eggs and things like that you know my dilemma is brown is a brown is a vibe but would it be better white shall i leave it or shall we go white i don't know i don't know decide whether i'm going to be using the natural one oh 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 Oh, the white one. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so we we'll figure that out. And I've got all these bits and bobs here. A few boxes. But all these lovely rabbits to put up. I've got so many. And I've got some in the loft as well. Um, and then plus the ones that I made that with the decoupage from Home Bargains. So the chocolate bunnies that were the spray painted ones that I made too. And then who can forget? the gorgeous disco ball one so i'll be putting all of them up on the shelf i've got a plain white one and i think white is always a really good backdrop if you've got a lot of colorful things oh no casualty okay i've got a blue one which was poundland again and they are so i think they're like two pounds these ones i've got a little yellow bunny tiny tiny one. Oh no and a purple one but it's lost a little bit because I've, I didn't realise they were pot. I thought they were plastic. That's so annoying. I've actually broken one here. So I might have to glue that back together. How much were they? Uh, doesn't say. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. It should say. They were a pound. But even so, I'd rather try and glue it than... I think I can glue that back together. I think I can glue back that back. This is this kind of colour palette that we're going with. Some eggs. Some more eggs and and this is the this one I really liked because this is the bunny ones that I made myself. I'll show you how I did them later as well and made those ones myself with things from the range. Lovely bunny napkins. I've got so many lovely things to put out. So it's what day is this now? This will probably go out the week before Easter. Um, and so I'll do I'll leave Easter decorations up just for two weeks. So I'll put them out now. And then over the next couple of days and then we'll ta I'll take them down maybe a few days after Easter Sunday. So maybe 10 days just to celebrate this moment together. Easter screen oh, because it'll get us in the mood a bit more, you know. I've been using these YouTube clips quite a lot recently when the weather's been so rubbish outside and it's just not been giving me the right vibe. So I just bring it indoors on the telly. This is just a spring one, a, full, a field full of tulips. What's not to make you happy? Before I start decorating for Easter, I really got to clear this shelf. And pretty much the only time I clean is when I have to rearrange all the furniture or do something. So it's actually another good reason to decorate for the seasons because it means I get things cleaned. And so actually I'm ashamed to say that I did find some sellotape that was left over from the lights that I pinned down at Christmas on the shelf when I did my little Christmas display. But we got to it now. It's officially spring clean season, right? It's exactly what I should be doing right now. These twin slot shelves have been so good. I made them back in 
November. They're just the twin slots, super cheap. You get them from Screwfix, the walls and the brackets, and the brackets I spray painted individual colours just to add a little bit of pop of colour. Uh, that's my favourite way of adding colour into the house. I don't really love colourful walls. I like to add colourful things onto white walls. I haven't screwed those shelves in on purpose because I want to be able to move them up and down really easily. And if I screw them in, we're going to get stuck with them as they are. Right, let's start to pop these lovely bunnies on. Oh my gosh, you can't see it, it's so far away, but it's so pretty. My current new favorite seasonal obsession, as you might have guessed, is bunnies. I am here for every single one of them and I am on the hunt for anything that is interesting or colorful or different. I'm going to be cramming as many rabbits into the house as I can for the foreseeable future. I do think it harps back to the fact that my dad was a rabbit breeder growing up and it's so nostalgic. So I'm going to take a break and get the dog groomed and while I'm there, the groomers is on like a little um, mini garden centre type thing. So I thought I might have a look and see what they've got bedding plants wise that I can then can have a quick mo mooch at what's in the garden centre. By the way, that's just my drive. I'm not actually driving. I'm just pulling off my driveway. Bye. Come on, Ferdo. Let's go get you a haircut. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Always know when he is ready for a cut because A, he gets proper angsty and um, like fidgety. <laughs> Second, he stinks all the time and like I can't bother to bath him very often. I don't know what you're like, but it's not something who just gave him a good hose down. And third, whenever people stop me on the dog walk, they always say to me, oh, he's a big dog. And I'm always like, he just needs a haircut. I know it's because he needs a haircut. And once he's had a haircut, he will look a whole lot smaller. I'm not going to lie. He is like, you know, on the chunky side of a schnauzer, but he's all within healthy weight. Gosh, I'm going to go and say hello to these chickens. Hey girls, what are you up to? This is a lovely nursery. It's only dinky, but the quality of the plants here is always, is always so good. It's only a dinky place, but um, I always pick up sort of lots of little sort of spring bedding plants and things like that. I try and come here. I think they grow them. I think they grow them in those sheds there and they do big hanging baskets and they've got like a little vintage sort of curiosity shot and then other plants and bits and bobs and then loads of trees and shrubs and things like that so I think they're a, I always like to come and they've got a cafe I don't think it's open today but I'll usually sit and wait here in this like little cafe there and have a brew while I'm waiting for the dog to be done. But today I'm not because me and my sister and my cousin are going to be heading off to Manchester to have a coffee together and have a mutual around the charity shops. Charity shopping now with my sister and cousin and we're going to Emmaus and uh, I'm very excited. For a really lovely lunch and a catch up and a natter, we popped into Emmaus in Mosley. It's in Greater Manchester and I absolutely recommend you pop over if you're just looking for somewhere. They have got so many things to dig through. So many levels, so many floors, so much furniture and just lovely things as you would expect. Loads of treasure and a whole room full of mirrors. I've got one each of these hooks. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'll let you know. This place is huge. <gasps> It's like the mother of all charity shops. That would be a really nice planter though. Yeah. Lovely little cafe. I've been really proud of myself recently. Um, I've been able to really appreciate and enjoy seeing things in the shop and not bringing them home. Our house is pretty busting at the seams, so I've got to be way more considered about what I let come in the house. And with charity shopping, there's still the joy and the thrill of just finding something. But these days, things have to work really hard if they're gonna come home with me. We had such a nice day yesterday, but before I crack on with a little bit more Easter decorating, oh, the dog always starts eating. I am in the kitchen because that's what he thinks he should do. But um, I'm going to just show you what I got so that you can have a, a look. Um, actually in the end my sister bought these for me how lovely is that that is a vintage St Michael and that was a couple of quid and I think that's going to be so lovely with a candle in or some bits on the table so I've got this absolutely gorgeous green 
glass bowl and I'm totally going to be using that or just in the kitchen all the way through the summer and spring. I think it's a lovely colour. So that was £2 as well. £2 come with a little bit more decorating. I did, uh, I did decide about the tree. So we're going to actually have, I went for the white tree here. Gorgeous little nest. Uh, that was £1.50. That was only £1.50 from the range. And then I'm going to do the... I decided on putting the natural one here in the corner. So that's what I'm going to do now. How did your haircut go? How was it? Look. Who's so handsome now? Look at that lovely short haircut. Look at that. Ooh. Did you have a nice haircut? Was it nice? Oh, you look so handsome now. Yes, you do. Taking the time for these things is like self-care to me. Um, making my home um, seasonal and beautiful um, reminds me to be... I can't explain it best than just saying present in the moment I'm in and not trying to speed ahead to what comes next. I fully try and take time to enjoy the seasons, the physical seasons as well as the seasons of life. Well, I'm learning. I'm getting better at it, that's for sure. It's a good chunk of my life where I always felt there was a rush to get to the next thing. Now I'm really trying to embrace it and adopt a slower mindset. One really lovely painted cross that I picked up in I want to say York Minster. I think I got that from York Minster. And I, I'd love to go back and get some more colours at some point. I only got one and I'm a bit gutted that I only got detail on that. It's so lovely. I really love that sort of painted enamel. I would love more bunnies. So I'm just going to keep looking out for some. Maybe some will turn up in the sale, the Easter sale. Is there such a thing as an Easter sale? But that's all I've got for now. If you've seen the video with those chocolate bunnies, they are so fun i'll probably insert it at some point so you can have a look at it because i've got this tray that i always use anyway it lives in the living room and it is for all the candles and things please get rid of all the rubbish give it a good clean you know so we've had it for ages and i painted it and put some fresh handles on it a couple of summers ago that was really fun project and i i'll probably paint it again at some point these are not expensive, I think they're a few quid from these little placemats. I've got quite a few of them. You can get them in rolls as well from all of the shops at the minute. Able to use proper candles because um, it's been a bit warm in here recently. So we're going to go with a couple, I've got a couple of egg ones that my sister bought for my birthday last year and I never, I never burnt them. They were just so special but I am going to burn them this year. And then these were from, oh. These were from, from Home Bargains and they came in like a, an egg egg thing like that. I actually think they look quite cute just in there. But I'm going to put them in a vase with some other can us with some other eggs as well. Where are they? And then we'll turn them on. Are they on? We get a couple of these moss balls of the other candles because it's a bit I'll show you how it looks when it's all lit up later on tonight I think that could look really pretty just having a sit down and a little break because I need to figure out what to do and the sun is so lovely I couldn't just stay indoors any longer it was just just I needed to be out here I've got so many things I'd like to do outside but to be honest with you I have not got the time at the minute in the hot cross bun because it's hot cross bun season I was hoping to make some hot cross buns this year, but I've not got round to it. This was the wreath that I made for Christmas. I don't know if you remember. It was like a huge, huge wreath that I used plumbing tube from. And then made it in Christmas. And I chopped off, chopped up a Christmas tree to make it. And then come the spring, normally what I do is, I've been doing it for a few years, but normally what I do is I would leave it up and then about this time of year, clean up the garden, strip it down. And then I thought, I wonder if I could make it into a spring wreath and just pop the primroses in. Oh, oh my gosh, it has brought us so much joy. So I think that's definitely here to stay. And the primroses are amazing because they're just so hardy. Just wrap, shove them in poo bags <laughs> and then what? give them water and then the rain just takes care of the rest. But it's still staying so green because it's cold, but I think now it's warming up, we'll start to see it going off a bit yellow. So I think maybe we'll get till Maybe after Easter I'll get... Okay, snack time over. Let's go and decorate. Oh, let's go and decorate the kitchen. 
oh the lighting isn't actually great in here so i'm not going to spend too long with this but i would like to show you a couple of things i was gifted over on instagram an incredibly talented felt artist these this little bunny some babies yeah. <laughs> i mean i know technically a bunny's not supposed to go in a nest but I don't mind. The bunnies have taken over the nest and I'm okay with it. <laughs> can, you, can you see those little carrots? There's a basket with three tiny little carrots. Oh. I don't spend a lot, but I do pop into the cheap shops and pick up some extra eggs and baubles every year. And this year I have made my own as well, but I haven't actually popped them on yet in this video. Load out some eggs and some eggshells. They are up on, I think on Instagram and TikTok, if you wanted to watch. The last few years, I've purposefully been growing things in the garden um, for different seasons specifically that I can pick and use in the house to bring a bit of nature indoors. It's nice to grab what's there outside and bring it inside. Not a huge display, but it is just gonna make a smile. And this is the white uh, tree, the extra one, and that lovely little painted cross. And that came from Guatemala. A friend of mine brought that back. I think back in the nineties, I've had that for a long time. These eggs were from Poundland a couple of years ago. It will never cease to bring you joy decorating for the seasons. And this little bunny is taking pride of place on my windowsill. Set like a little fake Easter table. Just for me. I've just added a couple of little bits on the shelf there. I think that's probably all I can fit in for the past couple of days. I'll just get this video edited and then hopefully get it up in the next couple of days you'll be watching by the time you're watching this. It will go out before Easter and then I've, if you're here for the first time, you're so welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Flipping heck, I just absolutely, I'm always blown away that people want to come and watch and spend a little bit of time with me. So hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. Make sure that you create more than you consume. You use your hands for good things and you have an absolutely beautiful and blessed Easter.